Welcome to Pocket Women Lock Picking and Lock Sport. Today is Lockout Tag Out Tuesday. A little series that we put together so that we can pick our tag out locks, show off our tag out locks, explode them, tell us more about them, show them off. So, today I've got a few things to get through. One is to talk about some lotto locks and the other one is to give some away. So let's start talking about them first. Scored this at a garage sale, as you do. Came with a hasp. So this is interesting because it's got a different keyway to the standard 401 keyway. See the difference? Can't see that one, it's too scungy. But the red one, you can. So I reckon this is the 400 keyway. If anyone knows the difference, please leave it in the comments. Let me know. But I think that's the 400. I've also got this one. This black one. Now it says nothing on the packet. Really, you get no information from the packet at all. But the key says a lot. It says it's got sliders. It says it's got pins or something up the top as well on both sides. There we go. So what's different about this is the key is quite different. See the bottom key? Really wide slider open. Top key, very minimal. And when you flip them over, once again, there's quite a difference. Thin, very thin, hardly any groove. Whereas that one is really thick, lots of groove. No difference is noted in the grooves up the top. But yeah, thought that was interesting. They have absolutely no difference in operation. They both work exactly the same. Key retaining and really like solid when you turn it, like very stiff. So that's that one. So I've tried to have a pick of this as a slider, but you know, I don't think it is a slider. I think it's a wafer lock. I don't know if you can see down in there, but they, look, I've modified this little pick, gave it a nod, a nip, mm, well, took a chunk out the bottom so I could lift them up. See, I think these are wafers. And I don't think the bottom cuts on these keys do anything. I think that is nothing down there. It's just for key control. I might turn on the other light and see if it makes a difference to see in there. Can you see in there? Can't see anything. Here we go. So it just looks like ribbing. So that's key control. And whereas the others just I don't actually know what sliders look like outside of a lock or inside of a lock. This is the first one I've ever had a look at. So I don't know. They could be sliders, but they look like wafers to me. I don't know, if anyone knows anything about it, can you let me know in the comments? I've tried to have a pick of this, but I can't even seem to get anything to bind at all. I can't feel any binding, no matter how much pressure or anything. There's quite movement on the core too, to get it into position, there's a big, a lot of play. But yeah... And, I, and when I drop it down after having a play in it, I can't feel or hear any of anything which has been set. So, don't know about this one. So, let me know if you've come across this, if you know what sort of padlock this is, what sort of lotto lock it is. 
Is it sliders? Is it wafers? Has anyone ever exploded one of these? Does anyone have a video on an exploded one of these? Should I sacrifice the $15 I spent on this one and cut it open so we can all see what's inside next week? Let me know in the comments if you want me to explode this one. Right, moving on to the next. The next is the giveaway. Yay! So if you want to get into a lot of locks and you don't have any, well, I've got some to give away. Oh, the frogs are getting excited. Hang in there. I'll announce it in a second. So there's three types. Well, it's the one type, a lot of lock, three types of keys. Bidding on keys. So this first one, you've got that. That's the Ulstruth. Don't know if I can do that, but I'll give it a go. So that's more like your Bill Bacardi bidding. Let's call that one Bilby. After our native animal, the Bilby, and also after Bill Bacardi, he's bidding. Let's call it the Bilby. This next one is, oh yeah, I reckon I can do that. Lots of highs and lows, but yeah, nothing really, no real overset traps in that one, which is pretty good. And the last one is the, oh, that's got an overset trap there and there. That one's a little bit more tricky. That's more of your intermediate one. So if you would like to be in the draw for any of these Lotto Locks, they don't come with the key, but you've seen the bidding, so you just, you know, pause the video if you want to see what you're in for. Try to get keys done, but it's not that possible. So if anyone's got any key blanks out there for the master lock, it's the key 401 safety series. So if you've got any blanks or know how to get hold of some blanks for that, just let us know in the comments. That would be really good. So all you have to do to get hold of one of these is let me know in the comments that you want one of these. Tell us which one you want. You can have more than one. You can have two. You can have the whole package of three. Whatever your heart's desire. Whatever you want to get, a, give a shot at picking. You don't even have to get it for picking. You can ask for them because you want them to be part of your collection. So, that's that for now. So it'll be two weeks. So you'll have two weeks to let me know whether you want to be part of that. Let your friends know that it's on. To get onto it, you have to make leave a comment, be a subscriber on this video. I don't care about your likes. So that's that. Now the last thing I wanted to tell you about is the question I had from one of my subscribers about are there any lotto locks, lockout tagout locks in Lockwood, Australia? Well, yes, they are. Did some research. We have a little series of them. So I spoke with our good Aussie mate, Paul Springer, and he's got a catalogue, and he's going to feature that on one of his videos. So check out Paul's channel. You want to find it more out about the Australian Lotto Locks in Lockwood, Paul let you know. Right, that's it for us today. I'm not going to do any picking. I've been trying to pick these all week to absolutely no success, so I'm not going to post another attempt video. I'm just going to keep picking, keep trying, and eventually I will crack one of these and I'll post it. So for next week, I'll think of something else we can do. Hopefully I'll get hold of an Australian Lotto Lock, maybe feature that one. So thanks for watching. Stay legal. Temptation is everywhere.